Hi guys, welcome back. I'm in the middle of getting lunch ready, so excuse my appearance, but, um, I had a dream the other day, and I had to think about it, and I had to talk to the god in question. And I had a dream that I was laying in my bed in the morning, and the entire roof ripped off my house. I mean, the entire thing just went poof. And it ripped off because there was a storm, and the storm god ripped my house, my roof off. And he reached in, he was like a giant, and he reached in, and he plucked me up in his hand. He was picking me up in his hand. And it was kind of like, you've made me wait long enough. I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm claiming you. And he wonders why people run screaming in terror from him. And he's like, what? 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 My, oh, that was just a nice dream. That was not a nice dream. The roof was literally gone. There were hurricane force winds outside. I I was looking at death, and he picked me up. And eh. and Lucky's like, what did he do now? And then, and then the roof blew up, and then, and then, and then picked me up. Loki's like, well, if you would just give him certain things he wants, you wouldn't have these kind of dreams, now would you? And only like, you're really sympathetic. You're supposed to be my patron. So that's where we are with that. Because Odin not only claimed um, the position alongside Loki's patron, and I side-eye gods because I've had the experience of them using the word in the past. But just like Loki, the story he tells you about your reality changes on a daily basis. So it's kind of hard to put everything together. I'm hearing weird stuff outside because it's like 7 degrees, like minus 25 wind chill. Yeah, it's, it's pleasant outside. And, um... He not only was like, why aren't you telling people I'm your other patron? He was also pushing for, now that I have the house to his liking, he wants me, at first it was compromised that I would have the Norse gods up front, which made sense, and I could have the other gods. Sounds terrible. On the side, or when I had time and I wasn't working with Norse gods and getting my training. And then last night he's like, no. And so this morning, I prayed to Thor, and I said, I don't know what's going on. I'm... Sounds like the house is going to fall over. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared because your father keeps doing this. He will make a claim. He will say this is a house for only Norse gods now, and then he relents. And Thor's response was, well, he relents because all of a sudden you're walking around like we put you in irons and everything. And you're like, Ugh. he doesn't want that. He wants you to come of your own free will. He doesn't want you to come like we put a collar on you and you're grabbing at your collar. He said, That's not what it's supposed to be. And he said, you had fun running around. But if you'll do it, you know, Odin's way, it's not only your reap the rewards of not trying to fight Odin because it's like trying to fight a force of nature but <laughs> it's also you'll find out kind of what the gods have in store for you because the All Father does have a point if I'm off doing this I'm off doing that then I can't be doing rune studies and if I'm off talking to this god or goddess as much as I love them I can't also be trying to form a relationship with Boulder or Freya or Freya or anyone else and he's been pushing me at Norse Wicca. And I said, I don't know, man. I'm too old at this point to do another system, to buy more books, to learn another system. I'm just tired. I passed that point like a decade or so ago, actually. And he says, well, you don't have to go out and read all these books. You don't have to read a single article. Just work what you do, but work it with us. And I'm like, okay but it's it's kind of weird because now I'm feeling it you know kind of like settle in and I'm like really nervous and everything else but 
I should be really happy, but we've been having a windstorm. And like I said, it's minus 25 wind chill. It's about literally 7 degrees outside, if it's that. So, yeah, the winds and everything, usually they're super comforting. But all the weird sounds from the um, cars going by on this kind of environment and everything, I've been all jumpity jumpity. So, yeah, it, he would pick the coldest day of the year to do this. But I was terrified in that dream and he was like okay i it was he sent me several dreams of the same nature it was i've played long enough and the weird thing is he always looks like a different god and i think that is odin's way of slapping me in the face and saying damn it i'm using storm metaphors even if i look like a different god this is who actually is talking to you now pay attention so it's been it's been something else, but if I will give the whole house over to them, he will be much happier. So so much for the best at Alter Tour. Um is still there. I think Freya took it over. Um I really you know, they're really showing me that they're the gods. Usually they treat us with respect. We don't have to bow to them unless we want to. We you know, we don't have to do all these other things other people do. But every so often, they will remind you who the gods are. And they're like, no, it's going to be our way. It's not going to be your way because you're not progressing the way we feel you should. So that's what happened. That is today. But I do have a sense that there are Norse gods that want to come forward. But they haven't because I'm busy off here or I'm busy off there or I'm off having fun and I don't intend to learn anything or forge any new friendships. And I'm like, yeah, I, I get it. And Odin's right. Odin's always been who God was when I talked to God in the church. It explains why God was so relaxed. And they explain the truth about Jesus last night. and. I was just very sad for a while. I said, you seriously mean I got dressed up in a white dress and confirmed a Freyr? And they're like, yup. And that doesn't mean that's the way it is for all Christians or all Catholics or anybody who works with Jesus. But they never, Jesus and company never apparently wanted anything to do with me. It was always Freyr. Explains the language. Explains a lot of things, actually. Um, so it was, it was kind of sad, but it was kind of happy too, because since I was never claimed by those gods, I don't have to ha carry around any thing about them. And since these gods are definitely claiming me, they're here. Now I'm starting to get to hear that since the Norse gods have always been with me, wouldn't it stand to reason that maybe some of these other gods I got attracted to they looked at it and they said, well, she's not attracted to us, but I can work with that. This would explain a lot, actually, because Besta and Freya have a lot of the same associations. I don't know who my gods are now. I don't know who I worked with. And somebody else said something about Odin appearing as Dionysus. I was like, oh, no. And Odin just got this smile on his face. So I'm like, do I have any other gods, any other gods at all? They're like, nope. Nope. And they claimed everything. And this explains how I would see stuff like as a child, and my mom would be very matter-of-fact about it. I saw something brown, you know, running around the house, and she goes, oh, that's just the house brown in them. What? You're really chill about that. And I don't know where she got that, because maybe from her grandmother, I think. Or something, because I, I, my grandmother, she doesn't seem like she would have hold, held with any of the old teachings, but. And I, there's no getting out of it. You can't ex sit down and explain to um, the old father that the Vikings never reached Germany or Poland or Italy. He will just give you that look. He's claimed you. And you can't, don't even try explaining there were different gods in Poland and Germany. He will just give you the all-father look of how many ways would you like to die. 
And he loves that Neil Gaiman speech, and he will launch into it about, do you know who I am? And you'll just be sitting there like, God damn it, Neil Gaiman, I fucking hate you. <laughs> it's a really impressive speech, but he's rather fond of it. I don't think he likes the rest of the novel, or maybe he does, I don't know. His opinion seems to vary, but he will, he will use what he can. And he will pick up stuff that he knows people will give you hell for mentioning. And he's like, this is what I'm going to use. He still has me working on the hippie crystal board. And I tried to make a glad of war board for him. It just, it wasn't working out. It's not like I'm ignoring the warrior part. I'm not ignoring the death part. You can't ignore death when he literally rips a house off, you know, the roof off your house. And reaches in and plucks you out. And then he wonders why you're screaming in terror when you wake up. <laughs> and he's like, he genuinely doesn't see why he's frightening. I'm like, you don't understand? You have to understand. It's just that Odin can't always be as gentle as Loki can. Loki was really rough around the edges too for a while. And he had to learn how to be gentle because I kept running away from him. So it's like... I know Odin's here. I know he's my other patron. I know probably every god that claimed to be my patron probably was Odin because he's really good at shape-shifting. He's really good at lying, and he doesn't care. And if he has to be 20 other gods to get to you, he will. Loki has been a Tengu. Loki has been a fox. Loki has been um, a Kitsune. Loki has been a lot of things. Damn it, I don't think we ever had a Nari either. Um... They're both liars. And they're both tricksters. And they do it for your own good. And I think maybe too it was, well, there's stuff over here that we need you to learn. There's stuff over here we need you to learn. So I don't care. And we have a very fragmented system of lore handed down to us. So if I would do anything, I would never put another title on myself. I don't think are useful. But Nordic Wiccan would be, or Norse Wiccan would be the closest thing. Because I'm never going to be a heathen. We know I don't have it in me to be a heathen. Um, There are people that call themselves heathen that are very wonderful, tolerant people, but they're very few and far between, and I think there's just too much of a lore there to um, be by the lore, only by the lore, because it's like we have stuff that is divinely inspired at best that is just stories at worst. So it's, I think we have to be very careful about how closely we hold to our stories or the Havamal or anything else. So I hope you guys like what you see. And no, I don't know why I look gold. I did not get a tanning bed. I I don't know. The color's been weird on us all morning. I've been trying to make a recording for you guys all morning. But I feel better now that I talked about it. Odin really, really terrified me, but um, he can be scary. He can be overwhelming and frightening. Um, He's probably frightened people to death. People that have died in bed, it's probably been Odin showing up being like, Hi, how are you? And they went, Bleh. But, yeah. And in other news, um, the meditation app I waited for for months and months and months and months, and I finally got it. It came out today, and I finally got it. It was terrible. I waited since last November, and I knew about it like almost all year, for an app of a panda going, <sighs> no, she's a little cuter than that, but it's, she doesn't talk. She just gestures at you. She can't interact with you. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't see if you wave or anything. And this is 420 panda, if you get what I mean. This panda, you can tell, she is higher than a kite. And she's basically just doing temple breathing one, as I learned in yoga eons ago. It's breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. And it's just, they tell you, just breathe. And they play the music, and she's breathing in, and then breathing out. And it's like, it didn't help me. It actually wired me up and jangled my nerves. So that jangled my nerves too. Because I'm like, I waited all these months for this. For this. So I played it. Played the whole experience. 
got rid of it. You will never see it on the channel. It just, it just wasn't any good. I was profoundly disappointed. The way they made it sound, it made it sound like she talked and she talked you through your worries and everything. I have much better meditation apps than that. I'm sorry I did not, I didn't leave a, um, review because I'm like, I don't need to be that mean person that destroys their hopes and dreams because I know they think that this really basic animation is great. And I'm like, wow. You let your kid do that? Okay, son, that looks like your child went to the Unity store. But... <laughs> I heard real fierce. I'm sorry, but it looks like crap. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful experience. Namaste or namaste. Whatever the hell they say. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's back. I think it's not a spy, but I don't know either. Eh. But anyhow, we're wound up. Um, we we only have like not even our whole cup of coffee either, but we're wound up because Odin, the storm, we're picking up on it, and they're all coming in, so they're all happy. They're just a little wound up and being naughty, so the energy has to settle. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.